Well, it's kombucha time. Okay. What we got here is uh, called kombucha. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Rob, gave me the uh, scoby and some starter. And over on the right hand side there, that's uh, this is all uh, actually fermented uh, tea. Um, what do I know about it? Let me see. What have I researched? Uh, this is like a medicine. It. Um, uh, how how can I say it? Uh, helps to inhibit the absorption of fatty stuff like if you just ate a, a large pizza or something to yourself and uh, uh, you did it with some kombucha it would help the digestion of the pizza but help restrict uh, some of the fat uh, content that uh, you would absorb uh, another good one for doing that is uh, wine a wine uh, also but this is the king. This helps, like, if if you're eating, um, you know, let's say any wild edibles, or, you know, I ha I like to drink it with my uh, mashed potatoes. If I got dinner, I'm using any vegetables or whatnot, uh, I'll chase it down with uh, some kombucha. And these particular uh, containers... Uh, one gallon containers that I have them in have spouts. I bought this online. Yeah, I think it was under uh, like a juice decanter. Uh, but they also had it uh, advertised as being uh, good for the use of kombucha. And I've just taken the lids off and uh, put on some uh, an old tea towel that I had there. Uh, some elastic bands. Uh, you know, so the uh, fruit flies can't get in. As you can see there. Um, uh, paper towel will work in a pinch. Um, but nothing like cheesecloth. They say that uh, uh, the bugs can get through the cheesecloth. Anything like that. And they'll come around. They love this stuff. Um, that one there is empty, and that one there I've got some going. Uh, there's the scoby. That's the mushroom that grows. Uh, I've actually, I, I've just got to push down there. And right on the surface of the tea there, there will, uh, another scoby will grow. Um, there's two in there right now. The one that I started off with. And, and it'll have a baby. Uh, per se, you know, they'll have a baby. Uh, you keep pushing them down uh, as they grow, you know, to a quarter inch thick, half inch thick, or something like that. You push it down, it'll grow another one. Uh, you can actually use these, uh, do this process for just making scobies. You know, if you wanted to have multiple jars of this at one time. Uh, you make a bunch of scobies and, uh, you know, carry on like that. Now, the ratio that I use is uh, um, three-fifths uh, black tea and two-fifths green tea. Now, apparently, from what I've researched, uh, the tea... Uh, black tea and green tea come from basically the same plant. It's just the, in the way that they uh, process it. It turns out green or black. And I think uh, it actually changes its composition uh, when it's uh, when it's dried out. So basically, it's the, the same plant. Just different procedures. Uh, so I use, uh, um, uh, you know, like, another one is uh, orange pico. Uh, so like tetley, the red rose, that's all black tea. It's called orange pico because 
uh, the color it gives off uh, when you mix it in hot water. You know, it comes out like an orange pico color. But actually, uh, a black tea. Uh, I've used that before, but I found it to be quite bitter. Uh, now, what's happened is a friend of mine gave me this scoby and some kombucha starter. And I gave it to a friend, uh, a starter kit. And she just used straight green tea in it. No black tea mix at all. And uh, what we found was that it grew a smaller scoby, like just like a skin on the top, and it remained very sweet. Um, it took a longer time to ferment, but I think that changed the uh, type of mushroom because uh, I haven't been able to get the old, uh, the old uh, composition uh, back by using the mixture of the black and the green. Uh, now since then I've saved that mushroom, the scoby, uh, from the kombucha um, and have done a mixture of black and green tea. And it's almost coming back but it still remains sweet. It takes a longer time for the sweetness to go away. Uh, but I kind of like that. I like my new, uh, our new invention here. Uh, it's a bit sweeter. It's not as bitter if it was just uh, done with. Uh, I mean, the old, the old way uh, before it just got used for the green tea. Uh, it takes a little longer, but it's nicer. Now, even with the older batch that I had. Um, It was good mixed with uh, like a fruit juice, like fresh squeezed oranges. That was my favorite. It kind of come out tasting like pop. Uh, and this way too here, uh, you can mix it with you know, all kinds of things. Cranberry juice, maybe put some licorice in there or something. Uh, you know, the list goes on and on. Maybe some ginger. And, uh, you know, flavor it up a little bit more. Oh, what else can I say about it? Uh, apparently it cleans you out from the inside out. Now, I've seen a person on YouTube that uh, claimed uh, they had uh, poison ivy before. And they used uh, kombucha for, I think, two or three months. And that drew out all the poisons in their body or whatnot, but they had this poison ivy before, and maybe a bit of it stays in the bloodstream. So um, they started taking this, and and they all of a sudden caught poison ivy for no good reason. So I guess it was in their system still a little bit, and uh, the kombucha drew it out uh, again. And so I try, you know. I've had uh, poison ivy before, so uh, after a short time of taking this, again, I caught poison ivy on my leg a little bit. One little stripe, you know, it wasn't a lot or anything. Maybe it was just something lingering around, uh, you know, I don't know where, in my bloodstream or under my skin or something. I mean, the poison ivy was in my foot, just where I caught it. And about six months later, when I started drinking this, I got a little stripe of it on my thigh. So that's, a, you know, quite a distance away from the foot. So somehow it got under my skin or in my bloodstream and uh, uh, came out, you know, cleaned, cleaned out through by itself. Uh, so there's a couple good reasons, you know, for kombucha. Uh, it tastes pretty good. It's good for the digestion. Uh, cleans you out. Um, you know, uh, I'm sure there's a few other things. Uh, now in its process, it takes uh, it takes a uh, 
about three weeks to to reach its max its best potential. It will stay lo uh, it will stay good a uh, lot longer after that. I don't let it go much past uh, you know like four or five months before I drink it. I got two bottles there that I can drink from. Plus I got some made to uh, keep it at work, so I have some there too. Uh, but the way you make this is, like I was saying, uh, I use three parts uh, a black tea. I'll fill up a, a gallon pot, put it on the stove, heat it up, pour in a cup of sugar, stir it up. I use three black tea bags and two green ones, green tea tea bags. And I'll steep them, you know. I'll squeeze them down about 30, 40 times each, throw them out, stir up the sugar and the water, and then I put it in the sink. I put the whole pot in the sink and fill the sink up with cold water so that helps uh, bring the temperature of the hot water that's in the pot down pretty fast. Usually about 20 minutes to a half hour uh, it's ready. Uh, so what you do with this bottle here uh, is you uh, you save 10% of the liquid and one of those SCOBY mushrooms that are in there. I don't know if you can see the SCOBY mushroom uh, so easy. It's right there. You can look it all up on uh, more YouTube. They have uh, a lot of people have better descriptions of it. So you need 10% of the kombucha, that liquid there, and one of those scoby mushrooms to make a new batch. And what I do is I just, you know, I just drain it, uh, drink it down. I just drink it down until there's 10% left back down to here and then I just pour my pot of cooled uh, tea and sugar water in on top of it uh, I'll take my in there and fill the jar up and put the lid back on and just leave it usually about after a week uh, the scoby will start to grow sometimes after a couple days uh, but three like I say you can start drinking it after two weeks but it's often that it, um, its best benefits are after three weeks so let's just have a glass here check it out a little bit there. Should be a little bit sweet still I bet. Here we go down the hatch. Yum yum. Good stuff. Good stuff guys. Uh, so that's kombucha. Uh, you can buy the uh, scobies and the uh, um, starter uh, kit some kombucha 10% kombucha and one of the scobies of whatever jar you're using will make you a full jar of that again mix some sugar and tea and water on the stove heat it up cool it all down pour it back in there 10% kombucha at least maybe a bit more 15 and one of those scobies. It's actually something like a mushroom you get fermented tea. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next one, take care.